you see this look this is the look of irritation hungry hangry irritated disgusted and tired I've been up since 3 a.m. getting ready the last of my four-day trip and guess where I'm sitting I'm in freaking New York stuck tired because I can't get into Chicago because of why the weather the snow the traffic the flow of the planes <sighs> this is part of the job that we don't like uh, got up this morning I had three legs the last leg was supposed to go to Chicago and I was done I was going to catch a flight and go on to go home to Houston because I'm off tomorrow mm, yeah so then we find out that our flight is delayed because of weather delay is supposed to be three hours that turned into four hours or turned into five hours and so the first officer and the captain timed out with their rest time so they were just gonna they counseled us the crew and got another crew to take the flight that we would have been working but then they delayed that flight so here it is I don't even know what time it is anymore but we're supposed to leave hopefully at 7:30 and get in I don't even know what time at this point but then I get a text message that are you coming to the crash pad tonight because we're full and all the other ones are full because of all the delays so there's more people than usual so even if I make this flight it's possible that I will get to Chicago and not have a place to lay my head these are the things that we don't talk about in training but these are the things that we know can happen and some of the things we just have to accept and deal with and try to be prepared for but you can't be prepared so i'm sitting in this airport with my first officer and the other flight attendant i was flying with and we're waiting to see if we're going to get on this plane it's storming in new york flow and weather in chicago is crazy there is one flight out of here that's going to houston but it leaves after this flight is supposed to leave so my dilemma is if i don't get on this flight that the crew that the job booked me on and i cancel it and go book my own flight to go to houston on a later flight and that gets canceled or delayed in any further then i'm stuck in new york and i would have to provide my own hotel but then, if I get to Chicago, I don't even have a place to sleep anyway. So, it is a lose-lose situation for me. And I'm not happy about it. And I'm getting hangry. So, I'm going to have an attitude in a few minutes. But, I still love my job. But now, my days off are going to be shorter. Than what I was expected, the plans that I kind of tentatively made in Houston are now canceled. So, yeah, these are things we got to be prepared for mentally and emotionally because it comes with a job and it is the winter and it happens. But all I know is if this flight gets canceled or pushed back any further. I'm gonna need me a room and a bed, or I'm gonna have a straight attitude. I'm, <laughs> I've been up since three something, so yes, I still look flawless. But my sister's tired, and I need to go home to get my hair cut and get these braids taken out my head. They messing with my beauty regimen. <sighs> See you in the friendly skies.